or excuse me, the Pelicans are playing right now against Minnesota. They could finish anywhere from fifth to ninth, but it will all be known in about two and a half hours. Vanderbilt off the leg of Brown and out of bounds. Fourth turnover by the Lakers. Lakers started 0 and 5. The tip in after the step through, Fontecchio at the basket. They've lost eight of their last 10. Russell couldn't hit the three. So it's it's a hard turn after so many years where you were built around Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert. 23 and a half was the over under by Caesar Sportsbook. So they went way over. Davis falling away, rattles around and. Fourth year player out of Gonzaga, Fontecchio, nice move through the lane, but he couldn't finish. So 31-20, Lakers lead. Their largest lead has been 13 here in the first quarter. Toscano Anderson wide open, drains the three. He can make that. Fontecchio comes back, misses a three. James with the rebound, looking to push tempo. Scored 55 points in the first quarter and hit 12 threes. As if they beat the Blazers, and looks like they're going to, and they mean business, they're going to be in the top six and avoid the play-in tournament. Fontecchio, meanwhile, hits a three. James misfires. On the other end, Fontecchio got caught in the air. Out to Dunn to let him shoot that all day, but he nails it. Fontecchio can't find it from deep. Here comes James again in transition. He'll lean into Jones, draw the foul. Dunn had 14 assists and a win over Denver yesterday. He's got three already here. James too strong. Utah with a chance maybe to tie here. Fontecchio. Hachimura thought he was going to take the three. Instead, wow. he gets inside, hangs, and finishes. Beautiful move by Simone Fontecchio. Based on his experience on championship teams as a player and a coach, does he see it with this group? And obviously, he's not going to say no, but his reasoning is Fontecchio nails a three to give Utah the lead. Can to sit this final 10 games. You're trying to understand the big picture from the... Your chances if they, right now, about 20% to get into the top four. Davis missed it inside after the good look. As, uh, I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> Hermanich's pass. We know what that was. Just a gorgeous look by James and Beasley is fouled. He's got the scoring record. Passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar back on February 7th. Moved to fourth all-time in assists. Dunn spinning against James. Fontecchio, same spot, and different result. He hits this one. Makes a huge difference. Russell's got 13 points on the day. Three of six from three-point range. He'll try another one. He was fouled by Fontecchio. Lose this game. They're going to be in the eighth spot. Have to be the road team in the play in on Tuesday night. Fontecchio driving no, but he got the put back to go, and it's a two-point game again. One minute remaining in the third, 94 to 90. The Lakers lead. They've won five of their last six and eight out of ten. Fontecchio drills the three. He is able to make a pass. He travels because he comes down. Incredible to me that he's just able to play through that kind of contact. And next year, it's not going to be arbitrary. You're going to have the number, the cutoff is 65. Got to play 65 games to be eligible. So right now, started leaning left, anticipating the pick and roll action. LeBron's like, oh, okay, I'm going to shoot the three. Fontecchio gets the basket again. Boy, he's got 20 points. Rebound Utah. Dunn, by the way, has 24 points a season high. He also has 10 rebounds and 8 assists. Fontecchio bricked the three, but it's got a ball screen here from AD to his left. James fires. Davis comes in the NBA in style. 38 years old. Get another chance at a championship. The question is, are the Lakers good enough to not only win the play-in and get into the playoffs, but then do some damage? Lakers finish 43 and 39. First team in 18 years to start as poorly as they did, 2 and 10, and end up with a winning record. And since the trade deadline, the Lakers have the best mark in the league. They're